I'm about to show you guys the best way to texture anything in Blender. And this is actually gonna end up looking good. Now, when I figured this out, this was a complete game changer, okay? You don't have to use any UVs. You don't have to really unwrap anything. Well, we're going to use some smart UVs, but we're not going to work around with all the messiness of, of manually unwrapping each individual item like you can see on this tank. That would take about nine days. Now, what I'm about to show you is a good way to create some custom textures to make them look uh, very natural and very, uh, very high in quality on the model. And you can do this to anything. Now, this is going to take some work. It's going to take some time. You have to be a... Uh, a bit patient as you would have to be if you're modeling a tank like this okay but you're gonna have to use that in anything that's the most important thing in blender you have to be patient okay otherwise otherwise you're never gonna create a high quality work you have to be very patient when you're making this stuff so let's not beat around the bush anymore and let's go over to Google and we want to prepare some brushes and some decals this is the first thing we got to do okay so we're gonna go to Google search and we're gonna type in something like scratches PNG okay and the reason we put PNG there is because then uh, it's going to give us transparent images. PNG means it's an image with alpha, and that means it has a transparent background, okay? And we're going to look for an image with some big scratches, which is also pretty high in resolution. Let's go with something like this one here, okay? Let's open that up. As you can see, some big, thick scratches. This is going to be pretty useful for us. And let's try to download this really quick. Okay, and let's just leave that for later. And then we're also going to look for another deco. Let's look for something like decal leak, okay? And let's see what that gives us. And we can just go with anything that's going to give us a sort of scuffed edge look. I'm going to go with this one right here from textures.com. And I'm also going to download that one there, okay? So let's, uh, let's open those up. Let's open this up and let's open it up in any uh, image editing program. I use Paint.net because I don't want to buy Photoshop and I don't want to uh, pirate it either. But you can probably even use uh, Microsoft Paint for this. All you got to do is you have your transparent background here. You have your texture on top here. Just go to adjustment and just crank up the contrast and crank up the brightness all the way. Okay. You don't even have to crank up the contrast maybe, but it has to be completely white. That's the point. It has to be completely white on a transparent background. And let's save that. Or let's save it into a different folder. Let's save that into our folder so we can find it with all the other textures that we're going to use for this tank. Uh, or, or all the other brushes we have right here. Let's save that right there. And then we're going to open up the other one, the other one with the scratches, open with Paint.net, and we're going to do the exact same thing. Okay, brightness, contrast, turn that all the way up, and uh, let's just save that into the same folder. Okay, so we can find all those, and we don't have to look around through our down downloads folder with all the other 10 million images that I downloaded over the past three days. And uh, that's pretty much all we need for now, okay? Now you also want to prepare some kind of brush. I already have it ready, but I want to show you how to make that just in case. Make a small image, like a 400 by 400 pixel image. Just make a black background and just take a big brush. Take a big brush and just uh, just kind of make a white white stain there in the background. Make it so it's pretty close to the edges. And this is just going to be our basic brush so we can make some uh, some darkened edges and uh, nothing really complicated here. Okay, let's just save that as a brush one. Uh, do we want to replace it? No, let's, let's name it brush three then. Okay, right there. Now let's go over to Blender and let's start painting our tank right here, okay? And let's say the first thing I want to paint is my turret. So I'm going to select my turret and I'm going to go over to my shading tab. And this is where I'm going to create my first material. So I'm going to hit new right there. And I got my principal node, I got my material node, and I'm just going to leave those as they are right now. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create an image texture node. Okay, so shift A, search, and add in an image texture node right there. And we're going to create a new texture right there, which we're going to name turret. And we're going to make the resolution a little bit bigger. We're going to make it something like 496 by 496. The higher you make this, the, the more detailed your texture is going to be, obviously. But it's also going to be a bigger image, so it's going to take up more space. Now I'm going to go with 496, because that's usually the sweet spot for, uh, for most models, especially if they're higher in quality. But you can go lower than that if you have a low poly model. It's just that for me, I have a bunch of these little bits all over the tank, so I, I, those are going to take up a lot of space when I unwrap them. And it's also very important that we select the right color, okay? So I'm going to go with something like a desert tan color, all right? And uh, for that, let's turn up the the, uh, the brightness over there a little bit, but let's also crank down the saturation. Maybe we can make something like this, okay? It's kind of like a sand color, okay? You know how these tanks usually are. They like to be camouflaged and all that, so let's just go with something like that. And leave all the other stuff as it is. 
and we're just going to plug the color into the base color right there. All right. As you can see, this is a kind of dark color, but I think uh, I think it works just fine for now. And now it's also very important that you select everything here and you unwrap it and you press Smart UV Project. Okay, and make the island margin something really really small, like 0 0.001. It doesn't even matter too much, but I just like to keep them really small, but just above zero. And let's just unwrap that real quick, okay? And then we uh, go over to our texture paint. And this is where the rubber meets the road, all right? Let me reduce the strength of my world lighting here a little bit. It's too bright. And, uh, and this is where we're going to do all the work, all right? So here we have our UVs, and they're unwrapped over this big uh, texture that we just created. And now we actually have to create our brushes. So you want to go over here. To your brush panel and you want to create a new brush make sure it's image or movie and just open up an image now i'm going to go and i'm going to select my brush three and this is the brush that i just painted uh, in paint net okay a very simple brush and uh, then you have to select the color and you can pretty much start painting anywhere you want okay now the first thing we're going to do to try to make this look a little bit nicer is we're going to take this color that we have before take the color of the whole thing and let's just make it a little bit darker, a tiny bit darker. Let's also make our brush smaller because this is way too big. And we just want to go over the edges a little bit to make the edges a bit darker. Okay, maybe we can go a tiny bit darker than this. Let's reduce the value a little bit to like 5.67. And let's just paint all over the edges right here. Okay, now you don't have to uh, do every single edge by hand like this. There's a slightly easier way to do this. You are going to have to do every single edge, but you're not going to have to drag along it the whole time. You can use a line tool, a stroke method. We can we can use lines. So we go up here, stroke method, and you select line, and then just trace all the edges with that. Okay, here's how that works. You zoom in, you get pretty close, and then you just draw a line right there, uh, like this, and that's just going to make a big stroke over that entire edge, and now you can see the whole edge is darkened, and it looks pretty neat. And we're also going to do the same thing for all the other edges right here. And now we want to use our second brush. Okay. So now we're going to go over here. We're going to duplicate this. And now you can see we have texture 0 0.01. Now in this little menu, we have two textures. So this new one, the, the one before, we're just going to name that brush one. Okay. And the new one, we're going to name that scratch. Okay. Scratch. And for this new one we just created, we're going to select a different image. We're going to select uh, the scratches that we just created uh, in paint net. Okay, so you can see white scratches on a, a transparent background and over here It's it's a black background, but it's actually transparent and uh, Now we can use this as a stencil so we can sort of use this as a decal to paint uh, Various scratches along the body of the tank or the, the turret of the tank So you want to go down here to the texture mask and we're going to select our scratches. Okay And now you see in your 3d view over here. You have this kind of uh, uh, transparent picture in the corner uh, which is just right there in the middle of your screen almost or in the corner of your screen and when you paint over this this is going to uh, use this as a stencil and it's going to create these kind of shapes on your object right here okay so let's see what that looks like okay let's take this big line right here in the middle of our stencil and let's put that on the edge of our turret right here okay let's make a big stroke right there and see what that looks like now, as you can see it's not very it's not very visible but what we're going to do, first of all, let's disable this, uh, this uh, line. Let's go back to space. And you want to keep this uh, around 7 or 10%. You don't want to go too low because it's going to get kind of laggy. But uh, we're also going to darken our brush a little bit. Let's make it a little bit darker. And also, let's zoom out a little further so the, so the scratch is actually lower in resolution. And it, it's also going to be bigger. And let's paint that right there right now. Okay. Now you can see it's a little bit more visible, but I still want to make it a little bit, a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more thick, let's say. We're gonna paint another one right there, okay? And you can see that looks, looks pretty good now. There's a big scratch right there. And I just go ahead and play around with this brush and just make a bunch of scratches everywhere. Uh, try to make it closer to the edges because that's, uh, that's where uh, scratches tend to look a bit more natural. But it's gonna look a lot more realistic this way. And I'm not gonna show you the whole thing, I'm just gonna kind of speed through this. Anyway, for now I have some scratches right here, all right? Now we also wanna add a third brush. Okay, and we're going to name that uh, leak or whatever the name of that image was. We're going to open up the second image that we downloaded. And we're also going to open that as our, our stencil right here. Okay, now this is kind of stretched out over here. So I'm going to just kind of stretch this out on the y-axis or compress it on the y-axis. 
So let's increase the size on the Y axis in the stencil and the texture mask to about three. And then it's gonna kind of compress this image. You have three instances, but you can just, you can just use this uh, uh, more easily now. It looks a little bit more uh, realistic, right? So let's, let's use that, okay? Again, uh, the, pites, the parts that are kind of white here are the ones you can paint on, okay? The black parts you can't paint on. So we just bring that, line that up with the bottom of the turret right there, and we just make some kind of little wear, and just put that all over the tank just to make it look look like uh, like it's been around the block, you know, like it's like it's uh, like it's not straight out of the factory because then it looks too clean. It's too it's not very realistic. You just want to make this thing look a little bit worn out. And now when we go over to rendered view, you can see that the model looks ten times better now with uh, these textures that we just created. Now there's still some work that you can do to this. You can play around with the nodes. You have to add some specular maps and some normal maps to make this more realistic. But you can see this is already a great custom texture. It's, it's much quicker and it's a lot more fun than UV unwrapping. That's for sure, okay? If you start UV unwrapping this thing, it's going to take you eight years to do it, all right? Now we can still make this look even better by adding some specular maps and some normal maps. Now the best way you can do this is to do it inside Blender itself. You don't have to go to Photoshop. You don't have to buy any expensive uh, add-ons or any expensive programs for making normal maps or baking this kind of stuff. You can do all that inside Blender using some nodes. And I'm going to show you that in the next tutorial, so be sure to check that out. It's very important. It's going to make your models look a lot better. So stay tuned because that video is coming soon and it's going to be a great help. It's a complete game changer. Now guys, if you like this model that you see right here, and if you want to make something like this yourself, check out my channel because on my channel I have a bunch of tutorials on how to model tanks, how to rig tanks, how to animate tanks, anything related to tanks, you're going to find it on my channel. If it's not there yet, I promise you that it's coming. If you want to see some, do let me know in the comments because I read all the comments and I find out what you guys want to see and then I make a video on that. So be sure to subscribe and be sure to check out my other videos too if you want to learn more stuff like this. But thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you guys around.